Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm the fan of history and this is the pauper playthrough. Uh, I have chosen a goblins list from a premier event on uh, April 12th, played by General Perron. There will be an article about this deck on uh, MTGO Library next Wednesday the 30th. And uh, the thing to note here is that we only have one lightning bolt, we don't play fire blasts, we play Gitaxian probes, we play three death sparks, we play flame slash, which is like the new tech of this year for goblin decks, and we play four sparksmiths. Sorry Mikey K, there are four sparksmiths in the deck. So I hope I can use my old cyborg plan, goblins got pretty far in the purple gauntlet, but that was a very different build. Notable also in the sideboard is no hate. Oh, smelt. That's interesting. Smelt instead of the Mox Monkey or Smash to Smithereens. Well, let's try it. Our opponent is Salomon 2012. Thunder Street Denison makes life very easy. Or is it more conscripts? Actually, which is it? We can play two creatures next turn, so Foundry Street Denison will actually do more damage. And those creatures should, by the same logic, then be Foundry Street Denison and more conscripts. Berlin Sliver. So we do play two creatures. We play a conscript. And another Foundry Street Denison. And trade with this Sliver if we have to. We do. Probably means conscript flame slash next turn. Slivers was very prevalent during the Pauper Gauntlet, but I don't have a sideboard for slivers. So tell me, how would you have sideboarded against slivers? It depends if they bring in something, like a circle. Well, Master Sliver just have... Ooh, Sparksmith. But we don't need him yet, do we? Smack some face! Yeah, he can probably bring in circles and stuff, so he might need the flaring pains. And we are probably taking out arsonists. For those. Uh, Sparks missed gotta be the nuts here. Spin red sliver. So I take out the... Uh, no. If I cast the Bushwalker... Otherwise the Conscripts can't attack. I think it's time to play the Sparksmith. And swing with the Conscripts. Because we don't want the Foundry Street Denison to die. So then we have three creatures with which to do the Sparksmith dance. I think that will be enough. Sparksmith should be very, very, very good against Livers. This deck called for so many decisions. I think goblins is... At least I have had a lot of problems with goblins. As there are many, many different ways to play every situation. 
It looks like a simple aggro deck, but it definitely is not. I am 10-8 with goblins, 56% win. Yeah, I had a great run in the Poppy Gauntlet, uh, coming to round 5. But uh, that is included in those 10-8, so uh, I definitely have problems playing this deck. Plated Sliver. Burland Sliver. But now I think I'm going into control deck mode here. I have to start killing things. So I kill that guy. Kill uh, with the flame slash first. And then leave that guy there. Or leave the death bark there so I can kill have a creature die and get the death bark back don't put removal on top of the death bark you'll do that a thousand times I haven't played this deck since 28th of September wow that was an early concession that earns the block uh, I'm bringing in flaring pains then taking out one probe to arsonists Oh, actually, Arsonist is pretty good against him, so like that, perhaps. Uh, Salopon de Salomon 2012 playing Slivers. Hope he isn't quitting on me, but if he does, I make sure that I don't have to play him again. Smelt, Raise, Pyroblast, no, those are not things I want. Massive Violence, that's what I want. Well, there's a Bushwalker, there is a Sparksmith. How does he deal with Sparksmith? Journey. Last Breath. There are options. He takes another Mulligan. He mulliganed in the last duel too. So what I start with, I can't start with anything but Arsonist. Yeah, killing that guy is way too early, right? Hey, there was a conscript there. Oh, I'm smacking my face now. Got to learn my goblins. Okay, time to play Sparksmith. I rule the table. Not gonna block, or am I gonna block? I don't know. Do I want to block? Hell, I want to block. And kill the plated sliver. Because I'm way ahead. Playing the control game here. Because I can easily get to three. Oh, yeah, blessing won't help you, will it? Yeah, I think I'm definitely playing the control game here. As I'm writing in this blog post on Wednesday, goblins is all about knowing when you're beat down and you're the control, and I think I'm the control here. But as I said, I'm no expert in the deck. But now I seem to have a lot of sliver death on my hand, in my hand, atop my hand. But he doesn't have lands, so this is going to become short and sweet. So, uh, conscript, sparksmith. And uh, not much else. But a sweet old bushwalker next turn. God damn, he quit too early. 
Okay, let's play another match. I'm not counting that one. Tell me what you think about goblins. I know there's a lot of good goblin players watching this channel. And this is a deck I have serious problems with. Amaram Karan Goran. 0526. Well, let's try to beat him up. This deck obviously needs to keep one landers because it has um, only 18 lands. So that will happen quite a bit. Oh, it's Burn! That should be a pretty good matchup. Okay, now I will remember to play my. So is it Conscript or Denison? No, now I'm playing Conscript. This is a matchup where Sparksmith will do nothing. So what do I bring in then if I... Pyroblast, Raze, Smelt, Flaring Pain. Uh, that's not very good. Ooh. Well, I can do more than one a turn, I guess. But I need a mountain. And I'm not getting it, but I'm getting a cohort. And maybe that is what I need. Let's see. Not having a cyborg option against burn. What did I have in my old cyborg plan for burn? No cyborg. Keeping those sparksmith in there. Probe looks really, really bad right now. So I'm keeping going here with the Thunder Street Denison. Have Arsonist and Sled there too, so things look just peachy. Is it better to use this or not use it? I'm in five bolts now. Damn it, I'm using it. But I don't agree with it. But I, I can't cyborg it out either. So there is, oh my god, Fire Blast, Flame Rift. That's 8, this is 14, this is 15. So I am dead. And then five blast. Uh, yeah. Amaran ko aram. Well, what can I sideboard out there? I can't sideboard out anything, and I don't want anything. Possibly race is better than Fla than probe that just hurts me. Maybe I can raise him to not have enough land. That's about it. Of course, I draw it. I have to mulligan this. This is way too little action. On the other hand, the race is used. Now I have to mulligan this. This is better. Let's see what we can do. This is a lot of damage coming up here. Play the War Marshal. Play the Bushwalker. Hit for a lot. The first turn 2-2 two, two, you usually have to kill. 
think because this will build up too fast for him. But he did not. If I draw a land, I will also be able to cast the Arsonist and do a ton of damage next turn. Yeah, that hurts. Searing Blaze is, of course, his best card. We let him die. Cast Arsonist. Yeah, raise this, Mr. Burn. Electric here will hurt. Next turn. I'm actually taking out his land there. Maybe not this is not a bad idea. I feel better about that than I feel about Kitaxian probe. Thunder Street Denison. Wow. Yeah. I overcommitted horribly to the board there. Usually could raise burn deck with five blast and stuff, but now I don't have them. Curse of the Pierce Star is like a creature here. But what else is in his hand? Luckily I have 36, 32 creatures. Curse of the Pierce Heart makes Needle Drop a better card. Now it will look stupid when I can't do anything. Yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, crushed. And I think this build in particular has problems with burn, whereas burn used to be a pretty good matchup. So I go to 10-9 with goblins. And uh, I find it extremely hard to play. And that will make it the worst deck so far in the playthrough. But that is probably saying a lot more about me than about goblins. This is the deck we have 10 wins, we have 9 losses, total played 19, 52%. Well, that earns us a red marker because that's not good. Anything over 70 is good maybe? Ah, color will be fun. Maybe it is interesting to calculate the total here too. And this will be interesting. What is my average win percentage in the practice room? Or in tournaments or uh, anywhere else because I keep track of all matches, tournament practice room and up in these documents just to have enough statistics. But obviously this is what you can tell from these statistics that I am the worst at playing goblins. Thank you for watching. Next deck in the playthrough. What?
what's that? Checking out the main article on MTGO library. Next deck is Hexproof. Thank you for watching.